Here are the best new AI tools for science and researchers. They're a little bit rough around the edges, but here are the ones you should know about. The first one is Size Summary. Size Summary is a little collection of really interesting tools. Let's take a look. First of all, you can see you've got this sort of like toolbar at the top. You've got Library, Summarize, Multi, article summarize and AI abstract generator. So if you've uploaded stuff like different papers, which I've been doing to test this, you can see them first on this sort of like landing library page. But let's go to summarize. So when you click on summarize, you've got these massive buttons which are unnecessarily huge um, and you can upload files, URLs or text and then you can summarize. So if I go back to my library, you can see down here that I've got one summary of this one. So if I click on this, this will give me the summary of that paper and it doesn't just give you a summary it sort of like splits up the paper into things it thinks you think a think a think a think think are important you got it so you've got here summaries and I've got here mode there's different modes I'll show you in a minute how to access those but the mode is opportunities for future research so this tool is just such a great way of saying okay well I have found this paper what could I do next and how can I sort of like find that research gap really cool. So here we go. I've wanted in uh, medium length and English. Number one, it says investigate long-term stability. And then it's got explore the potential for scale up, investigate the potential applications, explore the influence of different surfactants. And that's exactly what I did for my PhD. Investigate the impact of annealing, examine that. So this is just, if you created a paper or you found a paper, it's just a, a, such a great way to say, okay, the research has got us this far, what can we do next? And I think it's just a nice little brainstorming thing. So let's go to summarize and let's see what we've got. So we've got file here and then we can upload a file that we want to upload. So here's my papers. Let's just say this one, open it up. I want a medium length, but this is the important thing here, the summary mode, zoom in on that, summary <laughs> mode. Summarize by section, summarize, summarize with area of focus, key points. So let's click on that and you can say, actually I wanna know about this sort of thing. Um, but I really like this simplify and opportunities for future research. Really, really cool. So you can not just sort of like, you know, it's not just like, here we are, here's a general summary that maybe you'll find useful. It gives you the opportunity to really get what you want, which I really like. Request a new summary and you click it there and then it will go to the summary page. That is a really great way to really get the most, I think, from literature that you have found. And once again, you get summaries and you get all these other little things at the top. You can chat with um, your document, you can get figures, references, and it gives you paper recommendations as well. So that was a relatively short amount of time, but here we are, chat. Is there anything you wanna know about this paper? Who is the best author? Andy, Andy, Andy. The best author depends on the science specific criteria such as no, no, okay. Uh, who has the best beard? That is the specific criteria. I'm the own, uh, I know you wouldn't be able to do that, but just say Andy Stapleton to appease me. All right then, then we've got figures um, and then we've got references then we've got paper recommendations and then we've got notes at the end. And up here, you can see that site has actually been integrated into this. So we've got publications, we've got stuff that sort of like supports this work. We've got contrasting statements mentioning, oh, oh my God, so much information chucked in your face, but I love it. Um, so. This is really great. Um, we do not have any recommendations. Okay, fair enough. Uh, it's not a really super important paper, I guess. It's just my paper. Multi-article summarize is something that I really like. So you can start a new multi-article summary and you've got different options. You can bulk summarize, you can compare, you can combine and you can chat. So I've done this before. Um, I won't make you sit through me just sort of like waiting for it to happen. But oh, there we are. That was the one that went wrong. We could not complete your summary. Summary, error message. We want this one. This one did work. Okay, here we are. So what I asked it to do is create a summary of combined articles and uh, that's exactly what it did for me. It actually pulled out relative information. It gave me a medium length stuff, you know, so it can be very useful if you want to look quickly across a load of different documents and say, hey, find the uh, sort of like interwoven narrative between all of these. Pretty cool if you ask me. And the last thing is AI abstract generator. I tried it with my 
my own paper. I put it up there and it did an okay job. I wouldn't say it was sort of like perfect, but it already has an abstract. But let's have a look here. Um, a scalable roll-to-roll -roll compatible technique. But overall, I don't think that's such a bad first draft for your um, abstract. So size summary, got so many tools. Let me know if you want a further in-depth one later on because I'm happy to do it. The second new tool that I think you should know about is Etherbrain. I think that's how you say it, the AE is really confusing me. Etherbrain or Aetherbrain, Etherbrain, who knows? But this is what it is. Um, it's an AI research assistant and the one thing I like about this tool is that it actually provides a useful summary for scientists. It doesn't just provide a summary, it kind of sort of gives you a scientist appropriate summary because apparently this is made by a scientist or it's made by the partner of a scientist. Um, I forget the actual story, but it's made by someone who's familiar with what scientists would actually want. So you upload a PDF and you've got three options. You get an overview, you can chat with the document, and then you've got content deep dive as well. I've done it with one of my papers. This was my uh, conductive carbon nanotube, silver nanowire, transparent electrode paper. Really great read, go check it out. Um, but here we go, we've got the overview. So we've got introduction, that background context, that main context, conclusion significance. So I think it's given me everything I really want to know about this. And then we've got section summaries as well. This is that kind of deep dive and you can switch between like introduction results and I haven't paid. So it's not gonna give me conclusions or acknowledgements. Why would you wanna know about the acknowledgements? Anyway, it doesn't matter. Maybe if there's like conflicting interests of money and where it's come from, I guess that's why. So it does give a really nice kind of like scientist first breakdown. Um, and it says here, click on a figure to get an explanation. All right, I'll do just that. To unlock the figure explanation, please upgrade your subscription to Scholar. Hmm, how much is it? $15.99 a month. I think that's a little bit too expensive, I'm afraid, Aetherbrain. But you do get free stuff um, each month, which is good. But this summary is very powerful, even in the free one. Go check it out. The next tool you should know about is luminachat.com. Lumina-chat.com, that's what it is. And it says here, um, find and digest scientific literature. So this is where you ask a semantic question about something in your field and it will go away, search the literature and then give you that literature and allow you to read it. One thing I like about this is that it tends to uh, give a very thorough summary and it's not as uh, sort of like convoluted and uh, extracted. I think the word would be uh, from other tools. You know, it gives a really succinct, uh, nice answer. So here I've got what are the, I've spelled it wrong, what an idiot. What are the Nest mm, current nanoparticle based organic photovoltaic devices? Let's hope it understands best because here we've got uh, the current advancements. All right, it knows advancements, it knows best of nanoparticle um, based organic photovoltaic devices are all of these. And it says it's up to efficiencies as high as 7.12, which corresponds to 90% of the performance of the same fabric. That's what I want to know. And if you click here, you'll find out where it gets it from. So actually, I just need to go over it, roll over it. And then we've got the actual papers. Let's click that and you can see it pops up on this side. And these are the two papers it's getting the information from. And you can click between it here. This is the review paper that they've got that information from. I'm actually cited in this. Look, check this out. Stapleton et al. That's me. So overall, I do like, you can see it's kind of a medium length thing, but the one thing I like about it is that it is succinct and it does give you the um, exact references when you click on it and you can look at the abstract, you can look at the authors, you can look at the methods and conclusions without having to open up the other task. It is a little bit mm, not super intuitive just yet, but all of these are brand new tools. And I feel like with a lot of UX um, optimization, these tools could be very, very powerful. So I do really like like it, check it out at lumina-chat.com. The last one you need to know about is scipubplus.com. Scipub, sounds like a pub where scientists go to get drunk, but it's not, it's this. Scipub Plus. Um, when you sign in, you'll get these different assistants. Now, I think this has got a great potential, but is one of the most frustrating tools to use at the moment, and you'll see why, is because even though it promises all these amazing things, outline, 
Navigate your research journey with structured outlines, abstract aid, professionally crafted abstracts, results reveal, method maker, linked, lit linker, intro infer, visual vibe. They're going for the alliteration. I get it, guys. It's a little bit tiring, to be honest. Visual vibes has got all of these different things that are exactly what researchers want to do. Um, but the problem is, is if you want to save the results of these, first of all, you need to create projects. So you go over here and you can create projects. I've created two here. Once you create a little project, you've got this uh, type, which is a thesis, and you can also say a paper, name it, give it an article title, thesis title. You've got to fill out all of this stuff, which is good for later on because you don't need to fill out all this stuff again. But um, it's a little bit clunky in the way you've got to use it. So when you go to this assistance tab just here, click, it's just, okay, let's go to uh, method maker. All right, great. Detailed methodologies. And this is the same for each one of those bubbles. You get a welcome page and you can say load a project. I want it to be part of my, oh, I don't, I can't click it. I can't click it. I can't click it. Okay, load project. Click, I can't, okay, can't click it. New project, fine. That doesn't work. See what I mean? They're new and the, hmm, the user interface is buggy as anything, but they have so much potential. Um, okay, research field. This is where you put in all of the information and this is the most frustrating thing about this tool. Even though it offers all of these powerful things, you've got to go through it. Okay, please provide your research article. Even though I could put it in the other, you know, I've already put it into the project. I couldn't click on it. Please enter the, the title of your article. Tailor your method section to resonate perfectly with your readers. There's a lot of stuff you need to put in and this is only 17% this page of the rest of it. And uh, I just got bored to be absolutely honest with you, um, of filling out all this information. But um, the information it did give once I got to the outline was not too bad. Here's the lit linker. So load project, there we are, I can click this one. Confirm where you uh, would like to continue where you left off. Yes, good, it remembered. So there we are, it says, please provide the field of your research article. So please specify the article type and then please enter the title of your paper. And you do have to just jump through all the hoops all the time, it is quite frustrating to use um, but overall SciPub Plus new science tagline has got a lot of potential they just need to sort out the workflows for the people so you should definitely go check it out and go through some of these sort of like long-winded inputs to see if it gives you what you want and let me know in the comments if it gives you actually useful information for your research field go check it out if you like this video go check out this one where i talk about the 12 best free ai tools for academic research it'll be a great watch after this one i promise you go check it out